Marty tripped me this morning and unfortunately I came down on Morris's foot so he's a little timid of me right now. I did get to touch him again. It took me a while to convince him I wasn't uh, gonna hurt him. Poor guy. Good morning, Tux. Don's got Ruby out and going to check on his paper. You're not gonna have to water this morning, are you? But he repaired, he did a little hole repair on the water jug. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back over here with the other ones. Dry now, yeah. yeah. All right, well, let me go feed the front yard crew. Hopefully Morris will totally forget that I stepped on him by this afternoon. I probably should have said we had a good amount of rain overnight and we're supposed to get a good amount more of rain today. So Don came out this morning and the dishwasher said end, which is what it's supposed to say. And uh, we're starting to load up for a day of dishwashing. Yay! It is not cool and it is... Uh, it's sticky, it's humid, it's quite um, warm actually. I think it's like 76 out and humid. Good morning, Ruby! Yeah, 32.20 went on last night and it's bug fixes and it's just, um, you know, the X got immersive sound and that's all we got. Which I have not played with yet and should at least look at. Well, we are completely socked in by clouds this morning. I don't think we're gonna see the sun today. Pretty blue, blue uh, hour sky though. Well, the good news is there's no heavy rain on the radar, just a few small, um, barely raining little cells out there. It's more of a thunderstorm this afternoon kind of activity today and with that humidity out there I believe it. So I think Don and I will be able to get our walk in without being in the rain this morning. Hopefully. Good morning pretty Tesla. I'm guessing they live in there somewhere and also that um they have to go someplace else to charge. There's no street charging there. Could be somebody working downtown. You'll notice up here on the right behind the fence, I'll turn the camera a little bit. There's a um, EV charging and there's typically a vault plugged in over there for the day. But that's, uh, you know, employer provided charging maybe even the state office, I'm not sure. But it's not public up in there. There are lots of places to charge downtown, not fast charging, but there are places to plug in, especially while you work or shop. Making a half a loop around Moore Square this morning. No yard crew today. Nothing more than a brief sprinkle so far this morning. I'm about halfway home, getting ready to get on uh, 401 to head back down to Fuquay. I'm in Garner. I was I, just gonna say that the scale has not returned back to the energy meter. It's still just a circle. I have to wonder if, um, I'll look at what Don had to say in just a minute. I have to wonder if um, Tesla thinks I don't need the numbers anymore and they just removed it because they felt like it. Hopefully that's not the case. That would be quite annoying if it was. I'm surrounded. <laughs> Don just said to uh, not stop to play Pokemon Go on the way home. That's not actually what he said. But he said to, uh, he's got a 10 a.m. meeting that he's hosting and he can't take it on his phone and uh, we can walk, but we need to hustle back. Hey there. Hello. This is service right here. <laughs> wow. I can even shut your door for you. Yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that's not my eyes this morning making things foggy. That's really, it's like foggy. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get rained on or not. It is what it is. Yeah. 
we're, we're getting our priorities straight. We're out here walking, even though it would be easy to pile up on the couch today. Right. All right, we did our first light pole to light pole sprint. Got to get that heart rate up so the walk is effective. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of... I'm like, stop mean. talking for a minute, sprint. Go. <laughs> was it mean, your runner boy? I'm the one having trouble. I guess here would have been nice. It's downhill. downhill. The one I picked was kind of flat. At least it wasn't uphill. That's right. All right. Oh. Next light pole to light pole. <laughs> At least it's fair on flat ground than those rocks over at Yates Mill. <laughs> Need to hand you my purse and my camera. Oh, okay, that's all I got for right now. That's number two. Maybe we'll do one more on the way out. But that's definitely it until on the way out. Only problem is in a couple of weeks, if I'm lucky, that won't be enough either. And we didn't bring our rain hats because? Uh, we're in Ruby. All our hats are in. Well, my Ruby. hat's at the house, but I agree that your hat's in Ruby. Oh, there's a deer up there eating yep. kudzu. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hello. You got any friends? Well, it's hard to see on film, I'm sure, on video, but it's, it's raining. It's raining good enough we got water running off our face and wishing we had our hat. And there's nobody out here. I mean nobody out here but us. Just us crazy people. Well, we're finishing up lap two. It got a little heavier on that lap, Donnie. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, I'm so... But I am determined to persevere. Yeah. A little bit of uh dedicated. Right. We're not crazy, we're dedicated. That's it. Alright, we're leaving the park. We just did two light poles worth of running. My heart rate had dropped back to 119. I was resting too much. Had to bring it back up again. Phew. So I have 35 of 30 needed required exercise minutes so i've already met my goal donnie yeah yes. she's five over Woo. and way to go girl don says no running today it'll get his sneakers too wet in the grass and they're not that bad right now so i i hear you and plus he's got that call he's really got to get back and get ready for that call it stopped raining for now though yeah. Yeah. i love this hill he offered me to do a fourth sprint yeah. and i was like yeah yeah i think i'll rest on my laurels today so how did the rain affect our pace? Let's see, 5131, 6,025 steps, 2.96 miles, 1725 per mile. Wow. That's because we ran those three times. Yep, I hear that. There you go. Thank you. Halfway up the hill there was a box turtle. He's just on the other side of that cement bear with the uh, ball on his feet. I can see him moving over there. Anyway, Don's like, there's a turtle, there's a turtle. So I stopped halfway up the hill. I never stop halfway up the hill. That freaks me out. But you know what saved me? Hill hold. Hill hold. Because that way when you take your foot off the brake, the car will not move backward at all. Yeah, just the same. And then don't floor it because it is a Tesla with yeah. instant torque. But just, you know, enough acceleration yeah. to push to go. And I got up the hill okay. But that was uncomfortable for me. Well, well I would say it was... Now you should be much more comfortable because it's really... It's like a no-brainer now. I mean, you don't have to do anything but just... Right, push that's, the brake and then push the accelerator when you want to go. Right. That's well, I, I have a few times at a stoplight when I'm the lead car with some <clears throat> person beside Hi, me. Hi, Marty. Put... How's it going? You're nice and dry up there. I'm betting Tux is in here. There he is. Hey, buddy. I've got a couple hour window to work on Lego projects. Um, 
there's always more to you know there's always more i could sort or i still have a tanker ship um oil tanker cargo ship and a newer space shuttle um from that bin i got at guardian angel last week week before to see if i can piece back together but i'm ready to start on my new project i've held off over a week and i think i'm ready to start so that's what i'm gonna do it's by soar brick s-o-a-r which is the same um designer people website that i built the last one from the second empire house this however is back to the 32 by 32 plate not the 48 by 48 so it'll fit better up on the shelf with my other houses and um the color that they chose it looks like it's yellow but it's really tan it's really the tan brick color and um, i don't want to work in tan so i am going to make it in orange um one of the things i did this weekend was um get a bin full of orange bricks ready to go i use paint shop um photoshop elements excuse me to um and the paint bucket tool to change this picture so that it looks orange so i could just get a feel for what it would look like and um i'm ready to get started i don't know how far i'll get doesn't matter but i'm gonna kick it off i find that um you know kicking off projects is i don't know it's hard i don't know why it's hard i mean i want to work on them obviously and i guess putting it down once i start is hard and <laughs> it's frustrating when I need parts I don't have and I have to wait for them so sometimes I get two projects going or I get a sorting project in the middle or something but um, I'm ready to kick this one off I got up to step 29 I decided to use um, dark red tiles instead of the reddish brown tiles I just can't handle another floor in the reddish brown besides i thought the dark red would go good with orange i swapped out red flowers for purple because i think that's going to look good with the orange too um i'll have to order these tiles um and uh you know i can move on with step 30. i'm just lots more i can do before i um you know i'm at a point where i can't do anything but i'm i'm sure i don't have any more of the red tiles but anyway it was good progress in two hours i feel and have any real problems it's raining pretty good out there um i want to run into whole foods and grab a few things before i go to get johnny um, i should have enough time although i am leaving about 15 minutes later than was my desired leave time nobody's fault but mine so anyway it's raining pretty heavy i've got an ugly rain jacket that should keep me dry if it's pouring over at whole foods yeah i'll get to whole foods at 12 50. um i probably got to leave there by like 1 40. so that'll give me plenty of time that'll give me 50 minutes that's plenty of time well it's cloudy and raining and thick and dreary and still 74 degrees and humid out there so if i left right now i would get there an hour before i need to be there 108 110 so i have an hour it says it's only taken 22 minutes to get over there so 150 to get there at 210 um i'd prefer to leave at um, 140 145 so 130 I got plenty of time if I'm in the checkout by 130 I'm good that's my math and I'm sticking to it I do believe that's the first owl cupcake I've seen he's so cute yeah there's a fox and maybe that's a kitty I'm gonna go with kitty there are some adorable looking cookies too they do have spooky pumpkins and lots of color choices for the mums and i can see that my camera <laughs> that's how humid it is yeah i guess you guys will have to take my word for it that the pumpkins and the mums looked pretty out in front of the store since my camera really fogged up with the humidity i um got a lot of meat and uh i didn't count bags but it's at least eight and it's 1 39 and i'm gonna get downtown at 2 p.m so i'm good uh, i don't want johnny to have to wait in the rain today is not the day to be late i'm 10 minutes early so that should work out just right oh and it was pumpkin spice everywhere and i resisted although i did buy don some coffee that had a very spooky rest in peace um 
graphics on the box that the coffee was in. It was on sale and I don't know. I just, it looked yummy. I'm having visions of coffee right now. Hey, the fountain's blue. Well, there's definitely some clearing skies as we head back into Fuquay, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. There are some dark clouds up there too. Ha oh, ha ha. The cats sure do love their Johnny. So Morris is his normal self with you? Yep. Good. It's time for Taekwondo. And you guessed it. While Johnny's at Taekwondo, I'm going to go into Walmart. Don and I had uh, some clams and some shrimp as our snack and a nap and kind of, kind of actually relaxed at the house for a few minutes and uh, I'm going to cook some steaks for dinner when we get home. Um, I see Christmas tree decor in the garden center. But it's a little early for Christmas stuff people. I've been complaining we haven't had enough Halloween stuff. Goodness gracious. Well, they pretty much desperately need some new Hot Wheels in at this point. There's nothing. Well, at least our Walmart does have all of the costumes you would expect now. It's starting to rain again. I've got 10 minutes to get across the street, so I'm doing good. I just browsed around, bought a couple of things. Nothing to write home about. All this darkness is making it feel like winter, minus the fact that it's still hot outside. <laughs> Ruby's got 92 miles of rated range left. Her efficiency at 318 watt hours per mile today was below her lifetime average by quite a bit due to the mild temperatures. I traveled just shy of 108 miles today, which is a pretty typical school day with Taekwondo thrown in the mix. So it looks like we have a chance of rain through like 2 a.m. Little showers coming through, a little bit of lightning I saw. But um, we, uh, we're supposed to have sun tomorrow afternoon. Just trying to say I think most of the rain is ending. Hi Stripe. Hi bud. Hi Morris. Hey Mart. Hey Tux. Uh-oh. Tux is on the move. 